Hello and welcome. Sugar the Travel is doing Pubs of York Walk. From enjoying a glass of wine on one of York's riverside terraces to drinking a pint of locally brewed craft beer in a quirky bar. York has a vibrant nightlife to suit all tastes. Rumored to have once had a pub for each day of the year, York's got old ones, new ones, haunted ones and tiny ones, so you can be sure you'll find something to enjoy. We will be using GPS My City app to help us navigate the city. GPS My City offers seven different self-guided walking tours in York to help you explore the city. Today we will follow the Pubs of York walk. For a full detailed walk, check the GPS My City app. Our first stop, the Black Swan. The Black Swan stands in Peaceholm Green, so called because the area used to be a water meadow used for growing peas. The pub, like many in York, is an interesting below ground as it is above. It dates back to the 15th century when it was a private house with alterations and additions being made in the following two centuries. Prior to the present building, a medieval inn had stood on the site and remains may well still be beneath the pub. It was built for William Bowes, a merchant and sheriff of York in 1417, who also became Lord Mayor in 1428. For many years, it was believed that a passageway ran under the road linking the pub to the St. Catbert's Church, dating back to when the house was first built. Located on the famous Stonegate Street, we will find Punch Bowl. The Punch Bowl, a pub in Stonegate, is crowned with ghosts. The former owner of the pub who lost his life in a fire walks up and down area where the cellar steps used to be. The great ghost of a woman who met a tragic fate haunts the bar and legend has it that she committed suicide after learning that her lover had been unfaithful. Tucked away in the middle of Stonegate Street, there is the Ye Old Star Inn. Ye Old Star Inn, York's oldest pub, dates back to 1644 when it was used as a field hospital during England's Civil War. Don't be shocked when you hear screams coming from the cellar. They are the ghosts of those who died here, crying in pain. The ghost of a royalist officer haunts the pub. His body is massive, his steps are heavy, and his appearance is severe. The ghost of two black cats follow him. The ghost of an old woman is sometimes seen walking the stairs, an apparition only children have seen. Walking past York Minster, we will find the Three-Legged Mare. The Three-Legged Mare, opened in 2001, is one of three pubs in the city owned by York Brewery. Its name is taken from the traditional three-man hanging gallows. A replica of this device is displayed in its beer garden. Nine ales and wide range of excellent bitters are featured here. Crossing the River Ooze, we will get to Maltings. Located at the foot of Lendal Bridge, Maltings is a former Yorkshire pub of the year. It continues to live up to its reputation by providing great beer and excellent service. Choose from its York ales and traditional ciders. Be sure to try the distinguished Black Sheep Bitter, an exclusive house specialty. You can also choose from its rotating selection of six guest beers. Our final stop, a corn. This traditional 18th century pub with six cask ales is hidden off the beaten track down a narrow cobbled lane at the bottom of Michael Gate. Partially open plan with separate areas up a couple of steps or through an archway. There is a pleasant beer garden on a raised area to the back of the pub. Appeals to all age groups with a friendly family atmosphere. On Sundays offers lunch with a regular evening quiz. We hope you enjoyed this walking guide of York pubs and we are looking forward for you to join us on our next adventure in the near future. Take care guys!